So, what does Pine Valley's incredible hot police chief have planned for the day? <laughs> how? How is it even remotely possible that a convicted felon, a convicted felon, someone who is totally guilty, is out walking the streets? Oh, hold on, hold on, back up. That damn pimp, Flipper, Fletcher, whatever the hell his name is, he's out. Randy's pimp. It doesn't matter whose pimp he is. The guy's an animal, and he should be locked up in a cage. He made bail. It's the system. He beat Randy to a pulp, and now they're letting him out to do it all over again. Franklin. What? Is this where I get the she's a patient, you don't have a right to care speech? All right, all right. could you just take it down a notch? Fletcher is going to trial. He's going to go down. Yeah, well, what if Fletcher gets to Randy first? Oh, look how you take care of your man. Always and forever. Uh, so, blunt force trauma, huh? No doubt. You want berries on this? No, oh, baby, I'm good. Blunt force trauma. Murder? Or accident? Random hit and run? Or crime of passion? Jesse! Man had a lot of enemies. Uh -huh. Sorry, babe. <laughs> uh, uh, should I tell Virginia you like the cake? Um, yeah, you can tell her it was killer. <laughs> <laughs> You're so bad. You know what this means? Uh, yeah, that uh, I'm gonna have to keep the perishables out of your reach. No, it means that Novak's killer hated him, wanted him dead, had to know him. Any suspects? <laughs> kidding me? If I gave a party for all the suspects, it'd be standing room only. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna whittle it down. I got some evidence coming in. It's gonna point me in the right direction. These are your aftercare instructions. Keep that arm as dry as possible. I'm prescribing medication in case you still might be having pain related to the head trauma. Next week, you'll come in and get the uh, stitches out and the cast off. No problem. Any questions? You must be uh, real glad to see the last of me, huh? That's not a question. Yeah, well, now you don't have to worry about me and Frankie. You know, pulling Franklin off your case was not personal. Not at all. It's unwise for a doctor to get emotionally involved with his patient. Especially if she's a hooker, It right? can lead to lapses in judgment and treatment and be detrimental to the patient. Oh, so it was me you were concerned about. You know, you have options. No lectures. Not giving one. But... Go ahead, say it. Randy, I know I can't tell you how to live your life. But this man who did this to you, stay away from him. Yeah, I appreciate the concern. Because if you don't, your next trip here could be to the morgue. Okay, Mr. Novak. Let's just see who you dialed last. Who's this? This is Jesse Hubbard from the Pine Valley Police Department, and I would really like to know who I'm talking to. Jesse, it's Annie. Annie Lavery, is there something I can do for you? Well, I hope so. I'm um, looking over your brother's cell phone records here, and this number came up quite a bit. It's my cell phone. You remember the last time you spoke to your brother? Uh, not exactly. What time were you at the movie the night that he died? I, I don't remember the exact time. Ballpark? The movie started around 9. Well, according to this, um, he called you right before the movie started and after he hit you in the head and ran. Says the call lasted about two and a half minutes. Uh, that whole night is really a blur right now. 
Well, maybe we can get together and talk about that blur. All right, these are your release forms. Just sign them, and we can get you discharged. Where's Randy? I checked her out. Got a problem? No, no problem. Oh, Franklin, look, I, I, I have nothing against Randy, personally. She's a troubled young woman who needs help, and we gave her the help, the medical help she needs. The rest is up to her. I understand that. Why don't you tell him me? All right. Uh, I took Randy to a place where she could be safe. You know, once our patients walk out those doors... But this patient couldn't walk, Ma. She didn't have friends, family, no one to pick her up, no one to help her. That's why I did it. I would do the same for any old other little lady or any other patient. Mm -hmm. And those blue eyes and sassy smile had nothing to do with it. She got blue eyes? Mm -hmm. No, I'm playing. It's purely professional. All right, then. Dr. Hubbard, you have other patients, and I suggest you get back to them. I'm on it. Oh, and by the way, Dad said you'll be here all night. Yeah, I'll see you sometime around breakfast tomorrow. Cassandra? 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 Cassandra, what are you doing napping? Girl, I just switched shifts. I'm the one who needs to be asleep. Cassandra? Cassandra? Randy! You know, I got this, I got this bath salt, and this lady said it worked. Ah, Annie, there you are. I'm glad you're here. I'd like to have that chat now. 